4 raised to the power 1 plus s plus 4 raised to the power 1 minus x is equal to 10. What is the value of x solution? Then, take note of this exponential rule that if you have a raised to the power n plus m, this is equal to a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m. Then this can be written as 4 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 4 raised to the power x plus 4 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 4 raised to the power minus s is equal to 10. Let's bring this 10 to this side. We have 4 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 4 raised to the power s plus 4 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 4 raised to the power minus s minus 10 is equal to 0. Now take note of this that if you have a raised to the power minus 1, this is equal to 1 over a. So we have 4 multiplied by 4 raised to the power s plus 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 raised to the power s minus 10 is equal to 0. Now let 4 raised to the power s is equal to t and this is 4 multiplied by t plus 4 multiplied by 1 over t minus 10 is equal to 0. Let's multiply all through by t. We have 4 multiplied by t multiplied by t plus 4 multiplied by 1 over t multiplied by t minus 10 multiplied by t is equal to 0. And this is 4t square plus this one will cancel this 4 minus 10t is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange this. This is 4t square minus 10t plus 4 is equal to 0. We can reduce this. If you divide this 4 by 2, we have 2t square minus 10 divided by 2. This is 5t plus 4 divided by 2, 2 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using either factorization method or quadratic general formula. But in this case, we are going to consider the factorization method. Then here, we have 2t squared minus 4t minus t plus 2 is equal to 0. Then here, 2t brackets t minus 2 minus 1 brackets t minus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, here, 2t minus 1 multiplied by t minus 2 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is 2t minus 1 is equal to 0 or the second case t minus 2 is equal to 0 from the second case therefore t is equal to 2 also from here we have 2t minus 1 is equal to 0 2t is equal to 1 then Divide both sides by 2, divided by 2. t is equal to 1 over 2. But 4 raised to the power s is equal to t. Then 4 raised to the power s is equal to 2 or 4 raised to the power s is equal to 1 over Two. Let's work with this. This is equal to this. 4 raised to power s is equal to 2. Then 
2 raised to the power 2 to the power of s is equal to 2 raised to the power 1. If you have a raised to the power n to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power n m, then this is 2 raised to the power 2 s is equal to 2 raised to the power 1. You have the same base. 2s is equal to 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 this will cancel this s is equal to 1 over 2 then from the second case here we have 4 is to power s is equal to 1 over 2 and 2 is to power 2 to the power of S is equal to 1 over 2 can be written as 2 raised to power minus 1. Then 2 raised to power 2 S is equal to 2 raised to power minus 1. We have the same base. 2 S is equal to minus 1. Let's divide both sides by 2. Divided by 2. This will cancel this. S is equal to minus 1 over 2. This is the second value of X. Therefore, our final answers are S is equal to minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2. If you enjoy the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.